Drug addiction is a public health epidemic in our country, and it demands an aggressive response in Delaware. From January through August of this year, 132 people died from suspected overdoses. That's about 30 more than, than the number who lost their lives in car accidents in a full year. Since the state tightened controls on prescription painkillers, the number of Delawareans receiving treatment for heroin has risen dramatically. By offering support and access to the right treatments, we can help Delawareans overcome these addictions while preventing our youth from using addictive substances in the first place. Working with the legislature and community advocates, we passed the 911 Good Samaritan Law so people won't fear being arrested for low-level drug crimes if they call 911 to report an overdose. We're also allowing law enforcement and other trained individuals to carry and, and administer the overdose-reversing drug, naloxin. Later this fall, we'll launch an information website that emphasizes prevention, treatment, and recovery. A public awareness campaign will support this effort so we can direct users, family, friends, students, and others to the best resources. We have a lot more to do. My administration is working with legislators and health providers community advocates and others to increase space available in our treatment facilities, ensure services focused on individual needs, and implement a newly designed withdrawal management program. And that group's efforts will continue. By treating addiction as the disease that it is, rather than just as a crime to be punished, we will save lives and will put more people on the road to a recovery that allows them to contribute their talents to our state. And that will keep Delaware moving forward.